It seems like I'm doing some extremely outrageous things, but I haven't 50 Cent tells people of calling out Combs' alleged actions over the years 50 Cent is defending using his voice to call out Sean Diddy, Combs over the years. I in an exclusive conversation with people. The 21 Questions rapper 49 opens up about Combs 54 and his alleged behaviors before he was charged with sex trafficking, racketeering and transportation to engage in prostitution on September 17, a day after being arrested. At a Manhattan hotel, Combs has pleaded not guilty to the charges. Speaking about how he would poke fun at Combs' life during concerts and on social media before the star's recent legal troubles, 50 Cent says, Look, it seems like I'm doing some extremely outrageous things, but I haven't. It's really me just saying what I've been saying for 10 years. He adds, Now it's becoming more full facing in the news with the puffy stuff, but away from that, I'm like, Yo, it's just my perspective because I stayed away from that stuff the entire time because this is not my style, 50 Cent, who will soon embark on his Indie Club Las Vegas residency. And Combs first began feuding following the release of the 2006 diss track The Bomb, in which 50 Cent accused Combs of having something to do with the 1997 murder of the notorious beat Combs has. Denied these accusations. The two have since gone back and forth with each other, with drama building up as they both represented rival vodka brands, a representative for Combs declined to comment on 50 Cent's comments about the bad boys mogul when reached by people, following Combs' arrest. It was announced that 50 Cent, whose real name is Curtis Jackson, is making a documentary about the accusations against the disgraced star. This is a story with significant human impact. It is a complex narrative spanning decades, not just the headlines or clips seen so far, 50 Cent for G-Unit Film and Television, and director Alexandria Stapleton for House of Nonfiction, said in a statement to People, We remain steadfast in our commitment to give a voice to the voiceless and to present authentic and nuanced perspectives, it continued. While the allegations are disturbing, we urge all to remember that Sean Combs' story is not the full story of hip-hop and its culture. We aim to ensure that individual actions do not overshadow the culture's broader contributions, Thank <laughs> you.